After watching that film, I come to understand if I could work that hard every day um, with the, being blessed with the physical tools that I have, um, what would my career be? And I made a promise to myself from that day that I was going to work that hard every single day so that when I do retire, I have no regrets. And that was the most important thing for me is to leave no stone unturned get better every single day and if I live that way then over time you know I'd have something that was beautiful but that was my philosophy it seems like a pretty simple one but you know if you live your life to just get better every single day you do that for 20 years I mean what do you have there's three P's that you gotta annihilate crush or destroy if they're getting in the way of your progress in a relationship or your career or your happiness or your health. These are the three P's that make learned helplessness. Number one, you think the problem is permanent. Once you've had enough disappointment, sometimes your brain doesn't want to get disappointed, so it's a permanent problem. Please write down, no problem is permanent, only your soul is permanent. Nothing's forever, everything changes, everything eventually ends and something new begins. That's part of life, those are the seasons of life. The second P that keeps people learn helplessness so they don't change, this belief's gotta be annihilated, broken through, and that it's pervasive. That means that because my relationship's not great, my whole life is horrible. And you're forgetting you do have health, or you do have friends, or you do have a job, or you do have whatever, I can breathe. And the third one is we think the problem is personal. There's something wrong with me. And if you start believing that, it becomes self-fulfilling. You give up, see, I'm not good enough, I'm not beautiful enough, I'm not smart enough, I always screw it up. So those three P's gotta be destroyed. I told my kids the other day, I said, let me explain something to y'all. If something happened to me and mama, I want you all to understand, y'all gonna be around the casket crying because I'm not leaving you everything. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm gonna spend 85% of my income on me and your mama. You're right. Yeah. Right, right. I'm gonna leave about five, ten percent. That's it. The rest of the money, me and your mama going somewhere. We can, dad, me, me, we can't go on vacation. No, no, I want to be with just with your mother. It is not what you leave to them that makes them great. It's what you leave in them. If you leave more to them than you leave in them, they will run through everything you left to them. Yeah. But if you leave enough in them, you don't have to leave so much to them because they can go out there and make their own way in life. Cool. I'm glad you said that, because now they ain't getting nothing. <laughs> it's just life. I wake up, while it still sucks, it's just life. You don't sit back and like, oh my God, like, I have days I don't want to do it, but I know I'm going to do it. I know from years of just doing it. So I, that, that's, that's beautiful, and this is why I came on here with you today, and I'm, I'm glad that you're talking about this, because human beings need to hear this. They need to stop hearing these hacks on this and that. There's no fucking hack, bro. There's no fucking hack. Yeah, you may this and that and saunas and, this and all this shit that they, yeah, it's great. There is no fucking life hack to grow that thing. How do you grow it? Do it and do it and do it and do it. That's the hack. The hack is going to fucking suck. And that's what I realized. That's what I realized. Life, that's why I wanted to come on here today. I didn't want to come on here and talk about no fucking passion and purpose and how to get the fuck out of bed and how to hit a fucking alarm clock and all this catchphrase bullshit. Because that wasn't how I lived. That wasn't how I lived. I lived, I woke up like every human being does and goes, fuck man, I'm a fucking piece of shit today. How the hell is this going to work out for me? And you fight that. And you fight that. You don't override it. No override button. It's the conversation in your fucking like, in your head. So how do you do that? We don't have enough of these conversations about the real conversation that every human being is having, and they have no idea how to get out of it, but they do. It's that shit right there, man. You gotta build your will. How do you build your will? Exactly what you said, man. Exactly what you. Said. If I could come off the stage and have a personal conversation with each one of you. And if I asked you if you wanted to be successful, everybody in this room would say, absolutely. That's why you're here. That's why you registered. That's why you paid money. But if you and I could take that success conversation and expand it, and I ask you to tell me what you thought success was, 
In a crowd this size, I would promise you there would be probably two or three dozen different answers because success could be very subjective. I would like to talk to you about it today. I, uh, I've studied the subject for 30 plus years. I've tried to ask questions of successful people. I've tried to talk to them, try to discover what made them successful and kind of find out what they think success is. This is a success symposium. This is a day that you've set aside, I've set aside to, to kind of be more successful and get our act together and hit our potential and climb a new level. That's why we're all here. And I think it would be maybe good for us to take just a few minutes and kind of have as a settling point and as a starting point what success is. I think success, first of all, is knowing my purpose in life. As I have watched and observed successful people, what I have discovered about them is they really have figured out why they're here. They really do have their act together. And, and, and knowing their purpose in life is a stability for them. So that when everyone else is rocking and rolling and, 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 and things are a little unsteady and people are kind of leaving the ship and people are kind of abandoning their causes. But th th these people, they hold steady right throughout the storm because they, they have a true North Star. They truly are focused. It becomes, an, it becomes an anchor in their life that just holds them steady. And the anchor is a confidence based upon a knowledge of purpose. 